Hi, I am Dr. Sharjil and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Today, this 20 years old male presented to me that he is seeing flashes and floaters in his only seeing right eye that are gradually increasing in intensity for the last three weeks. And also now for the last one week, I am unable to see the inferior half of the people of the images. So inferior visual field defect was also present. He had left thysical NPLI, had a history of blunt trauma with a taped tennis ball and was wearing thick glasses of minus 12 diopter sphere. Now his vision was counting finger in the only eye, intraocular pressure was 14, pupil was sluggishly reactive on violated fundus examination. I found fresh rigmatogenous superior retinal detachment in his right only eye. When I inquired further, he said one month back he had allergic conjunctivitis for which he rubbed his eyes and after that vision, uh, after that uh, the flashes and floaters started to occur and the vision also decreased uh, in a week time so i urgently referred uh, him to the vr facility to save his vision now why i shared this video because in this week this is the second only eyed patient that i diagnosed with retinal detachment now the take home message is that this patient presented uh, in three weeks to three ophthalmologists of his hometown and no and no one bothered to examine the fundus otherwise uh, when we when he had uh, retinal break and macula on his prognosis of the surgery surgery would have been much better no one stopped him from contact sports uh, and as his retina was thin fragile with peripheral retinal degenerations uh, and he lost one eye due to uh, blunt trauma in sports no one even stopped him uh, from rubbing uh, even after he become only eyed patients uh, with the thick uh, glasses. No one educated him that if he uh, had flashes and floaters uh, or field defects, uh, urgently go to the VR surgeon. So I pray that uh, this uh, young man didn't uh, become blind for the rest of his life uh, and we all should give proper time to the examination of the only eyed symptomatic patients uh, at least um, because uh, early diagnosis uh, can lead to good uh, surgical outcome so that was the take home message the other only eyed patient was after yak capsulotomy that was old patient but this is a young patient so thank you very much.